Well, we'll see if this works. Basically, what I'm trying to do, I've um, been just um, moving a lot of uh, the units back and forth for the Warsh army, and I'm also um, getting into some weird, I don't, well, I'm going to check the rules again, but I don't think um, it specifically mentions what happens when, um, like, what happens if I've got the Central Powers here, I've got Austrian troops going back and forth and trained um, across the border. Uh, that's not part of their rail network, so what happens here? Uh, it, it's not really mentioned, um, and a part of me is like, well, should they be allowed to just go back and forth uh, no problem? Or should there be a restriction? And then I was also uh, thinking about historically the way the Austrians had a horrible time um, with all their different, uh, uh, I, I think, ga uh, some gauges of uh, their track. And uh, that uh, initially when they were doing their mobilization, they realized uh, to coordinate everything, they uh, started um, having all the trains, regardless of where they were on the rail network, to go at the slowest speed uh, of, at the speed of the slowest trains. Um, to try to you know get everything coordinated properly with the schedules uh, and Like I said, I'll look at the rules again, but uh, what I think I'm going to do for now is uh, There's a couple of things I'm going to do is one. Um, I'm going to allow um, the Austrian engineering regiments to repair um, Can you see it over here? Yeah uh, to repair the German rail, <coughs> excuse me, German rail. However, there's going to be some restrictions. They have to be within a certain distance of uh, of an H uh, of a German HQ, and also it'll take them longer. So uh, it'll take um, one Austrian regiment three turns to convert one uh, 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 to uh, repair a, a German uh, rail hacks or um, two engineering regiments, uh, two turns, or three one turn, you get the idea. Or, if you want, they can spend one supply point and get it done with one engineering uh, unit in uh, one turn, that type of thing. Uh, anyways, I'm just, I'm going to go with that. I like it. Secondly, what I'm thinking about doing uh, until, uh, I also would like to have it so that it'll be considered a conversion if you want to see it, for for example, like here at this border here, uh, at Katowice, to go across the border here. If it's not, so if you wanted to um, ever bring, uh, let's say, uh, uh, Austrian or German troops that were on rail, a uh, German-Austrian uh, train here across the border to use that rail, um, I'm going to say it's going to cost one extra movement point to get across there unless um, they've used... Um, a unit, uh, an engineering unit that doesn't have to be supplied. I'm just going to call it uh, converting that uh, that hex, that border hex uh, here, and I'll just mark it off somehow. I mean, my God, I don't mind. I'm not. I'm not afraid of record keeping. Like I said, I'll take a look and see uh, yet again with the rules. But I kind of like that idea. So that means later on, if I don't want to have that one. Um, hex penalty here, I can use an engineering unit and I'll say okay they're converting um, that spot here and it'll take one turn and then that that junction will no longer uh, it won't take, um, yeah it won't eat up a movement point, I'll just say that they can zip across kind of thing, I'm just gonna yeah kinda, we'll see, I, I like the idea well that's it